Hey you guys, it's your girl Jade and welcome to another episode of Cranium Juice here on the Juice Box, okay? This week's episode is all about commenting or having an opinion on things that you have no knowledge of or no experience with. So it's very important for you to, before you speak, you probably should do some research or even have an experience with what you are speaking on because otherwise you can make yourself seem foolish and then you'll just be opening the doors for an argument with another person when you're not really trying to find understanding or have understanding on the topic you might just want to argue so that's why it's very important to educate yourself before you open your mouth very important because a lot of the arguments people have in society could easily be surpassed. They could come to a common ground, a common understanding if one person took the side, took the time to try to understand the other person's perspective. Or if we all just did research on what we're speaking on. For instance, people have a lot of negative things to say about about the Bible when they haven't actually read it. People have a lot of things to say about the Quran when they never even took the time to open the book and see what it says. So preconceived notions actually makes a very hostile society. And actually, not just that people, their pride, it stops them from understanding another individual. So if you already have your mindset locked and you don't even want to learn anything new, you feel like you know it all already, then you would never be able to be a good leader in society because you don't even attempt to understand those around you. Of course, I've spoken a lot before about lower vibrations and people giving in to their lower vibrations. One of those are your ego and your pride. Some people, they aren't even able to admit when they're wrong. And that's just a a major roadblock that will be on your path in this lifetime. Because... The day you stop learning is the day that you die. And a lot of people are already dead mentally because they are trapped in what they already know. As if there aren't hundreds and thousands and millions of books in our society. Everybody, you know what? History is made up of everybody's history, not just your history. So it's important to maybe do a little research on, hmm, I wonder why this person does things this way. I wonder why this civilization didn't make it and they just were completely destroyed by whatever they were destroyed by. It's very important to have a perspective of everything and not just what you've been taught by your parents or what you've been taught in your city. Because there are a bunch of other cities, there are a bunch of other civilizations that are still existing that a lot of people don't even know about. So if you just disregard them as if they didn't exist, then you won't even have a clear view of history. Because history is his story, along with her story. But it's everybody's collective stories. So if you don't want to take the time to listen to someone else's story, someone else's version, then you won't be able to understand. That's like like people who go to court. The judges have to listen to both sides of the story in order to make a solid conclusion, in order to come up with, hmm, is this person telling a lie or is this person, you know, telling a lie? It's very important to listen to both sides. Funny thing, funny story. I had someone tell me that my dogs are not trained and they don't listen to me, right? Mind you, I spend a lot of time with my dogs and I speak to them all the time. 
Okay, so they definitely listen. Now, this person who said this to me, they don't have animals, okay? And actually, they told me a story of the one time they had an animal, and the animal ended up running away from them. Like, they had an animal they was taken care of, and then one day, the animal just wasn't there anymore, and they ran away. This is a clear example of you having an opinion on something that you have no knowledge of. A person who does not have animals and who does not know how to take care of animals will never understand animals. Animals are just like children. No, they're not going to be robots and listen to you exactly how you want them to 100% of the time because they have their own personalities, okay? But my dogs definitely listen to me because they know how to sit. They know how to stay. When I tell them, back up or don't do this they look up they look up at me you know and they're listening you can tell that they're listening so it's funny that's a clear example of someone who has no experience with animals telling someone else about what something that they clearly have a lot of experience with in the world that we live in today we all have free will so that means People can choose their own paths, regardless of how you feel about what they are doing. So just because you might not agree with that person does not mean that they're doing anything incorrect because we all have choices. So you should never look at another person's life and say, hey, you're doing the uh-uh, you're doing it wrong. If it was me, I'd do it like this. It's not your life. So one, mind your business okay now another thing is if you come and speak to someone make sure you have your facts together so say you are trying to show someone uh, a certain fact in history or you're trying to lead them in the right direction if they choose not to listen to you or they choose to close their eyes to the fact of the situation, you should not chastise that person. It's their choice for them to, it's their choice for them to accept your words or to disregard you and say, listen, I don't want to hear that. It's their choice. And the last thing I have to say about this topic is make sure that you are making your own decisions and you aren't being influenced by others because yes we all have free will and we all have choices but some people give up their freedom of having free will and they decide to follow others because they're paying attention to what other people have and oh this must be working for them so it'll be working for me but clearly we all are different in this world so just make sure that you live your life the way you want it because when it's all said and done, okay, for your actions, you will have to answer. Nobody else will be responsible for what you've done in your life. You can't say, oh, I only did this because they told me to. Mm -mm, that's not a good answer. Because you had the choice to follow that individual. So that's something to keep in mind. So this subject of this episode of cranium juice was speaking on things that you have no knowledge of or no experience with so if you have gained a certain perspective about life because you were following another individual that's um that's very tragic and it could be harmful for you because we should not be following anyone except god so if you're following another individual and they have you believing certain things and you just take it for what it is because you want to be a follower, that's just going to be detrimental to your health mentally, spiritually. It could be even physically. But, you know, we all have free will, so power to you. This has been another episode of Cranium Juice. Have a great day.